you want to talk maybe a little bit about kind of how you ended up here at Providence St. Joseph Health? Yeah, absolutely. So yeah, I do not have a medical background whatsoever. I was born and raised in Southern California, went to high school here, college here, and then I got out in the job market. My background was mostly in sales, management, marketing, that type of thing. All of everybody's jobs when they get out of college, you cut your teeth. It's finally getting working my way up the ladder. And I found myself with a company that is, was huge in the South and the East Coast, was just starting in California. And that's exactly the kind of opportunity I was looking for, just getting in with the company. And I was up for promotion. What I didn't mention before is I loved the fact of the growth and you know, money and all the opportunities I was getting. But at the end of the day, I hated what I did. I just hated it with the passion. Didn't feel good about myself at the end of the day. But this promotion came up and it was actually that night. I realized if I did this, I'm going to be doing this probably the rest of my life. Because once I get in that position, there's probably no turning back. And it just did not sit right with me. I didn't know what to do, couldn't sleep. So I just started kind of looking through LinkedIn, looking at jobs just to see what else was out there. And then I came across the job description for this role and I read it and just everything in that job description resonated for what I wanted to do. I wanted to do more than just make money. I wanted to make an impact on other people's lives. I wanted to help people. So what was it in the job description that you saw that kind of called out to you? The first thing is working with the elderly. Kind of a special place in my heart. I mean, my grandparents were huge in my upbringing, spent the first 12 summers of my life back in Kansas City, Missouri, visiting my great grandparents with my grandparents, spend the whole summer there. I was familiar with the industry, with the caregiving, because my great grandparents had to go through it. My grandpa had to go through it with the caregiving. It just clicked. That is what I want to do. Once I applied to the job, I actually created a resume at, I think it was 3 a.m., applied to it that night. I don't know if I think I finished about 5 a.m. Only job I applied to. I didn't apply to one other job, ended up getting a phone call. And when I got the phone call, it didn't say in the job description it was for St. Joseph's. The recruiter told me, oh, by the way, this is for St. Joseph's Hospital. And I just meant to be. I, I was actually born at St. Joseph's Hospital. Full circle. So I get the opportunity to have a lot more meaning to my job. And I get to work for one of the greatest organizations there is. In my old job, I was I was ashamed kind of to tell people what the title was, what I did type of thing. I could not be prouder to tell everybody and anybody that I work for St. Joseph's Hospital. So what is it about St. Joe's? What attracts you to it? What keeps you here? What do you love? What is it that specifically calls out to you? I mean, St. Joseph's is just so well known in the community. When you ever bring up St. Joseph's, it's always in a positive light. It's always just a cornerstone in Southern California. You've had an opportunity to see firsthand the way that caregivers here impact the lives of those they serve. Any stories stick out in particular? I can start with one of my schedulers. It was just a couple of weeks ago. I was sitting at my desk and she kind of came in and what she was telling me is one of the patients she looks after doesn't have any family, doesn't have anybody, has one person managing her finances that lives in a different state. And pretty much she was in a situation where her account was shut down and she could not afford groceries. And she pretty much marched into my office and said, Alex, I am putting $300 on Instacart and I'm getting her groceries the next two weeks. And I don't know, it just hit me. And it's like, okay, well, we're going to expense that and we'll take care of that. But I really appreciate it. Bottom line comes to, we just have a great team who embodies it all. I can't take credit for all the good that they do and the just generally good people, salt of the earth people that are there to sacrifice their time and to help others, which is just awesome. I mean, I can't take credit for that. That's all on them. Anything else you want to talk about? I think I'm good. Okay. Well, thank you very much for joining me today. I love hearing your story. And during these fun COVID times, always good to see the face too. Yeah. Yep. Absolutely. Great to talk to you.